If all you're doing is raising a commodity and selling a commodity, you're never going to always have good years. You're always gonna have some good years, followed by bad years with mediocre years in between. And when you're trying to support, you know, five families off of one farm with limited acreage, you have to have good years every year. My name is John Hemme. I live in Sweet Springs, Missouri. Um, I am the oldest brother out of five siblings. And I farm with my three brothers and my father. A dairy farm slash row crop slash creamery. Straight out of college, I came back. And at that point, it was <clears throat> my dad and myself running things. And uh, then every, about every three years, a brother would graduate from college and come back, <laughs> so. My name is Nathan Hemme, and we're at Hemme Brothers Creamery. So we started getting into the creamery business, or try to looking into it. Uh, we were wanting to diversify our, our family's business. So our biggest strength is having quality control over our main ingredient, which is milk. My two brothers, Michael and Aaron, do an excellent job of cow husbandry. Um, you know, the, the old saying is, if the cows are happy, you know, we're happy. And if the cows aren't happy, we're not making money, and you've got to have a healthy cow to produce uh, a good quality cheese. We have very high quality milk, have gotten awards the last five years for our milk quality, and it's so easy for a cheesemaker to take a product like that every day and, um, and make something that is marketable. In those harder years before the creamery, you kind of get into a, a poverty mentality a little bit <laughs> of always being down because that's kind of how things were. We got tired of losing money and, you know, started looking at different ways of doing things. And it's been a pretty slow progression um, over the years. We used, you know, 10 years ago, we were uh, completely opposite with heavy tillage in the fall and we went from that to minimum tillage to no-till to no-till with cover crops to no-till with cover crops with animal integration and, and now with the direct marketing business it's just completely different. Last fall this <clears throat> after corn silage just was hard as a rock and just like concrete we planted this cover crop of cereal rye rape and crimson clover and you can see how far my spade went down about in there without a lot of effort and you can just see how mellow that soil is now and how well aggregated it is and you can, just by looking at it here through the roots on the bottom you can see how water would just it's got poor space to go through and uh, and infiltrate the soil there. It's real nice and mellow. Kind of the farmer's dream to, to plant into that. So. From what that is to what this is, that's the difference. I mean, that has biology this doesn't anymore. Our faith is important to us, and it's been kind of flabbergasting in my journey down regenerative agriculture to just stop and view the beauty of God's creation. Like, I've never did that before. <laughs> because it was just a platform before to me, but now that I've 
starting to learn how ecosystems function and how complex everything is, it's, it's just amazing um, that it was created to function so well. So We want to be able to, to have something for our kids to have the option to come back and, you know, on the regenerative agriculture part of that, I think that's a big part of it, is to be able to bring life back to the farm, and that's people. It's, it's opposite of what agriculture has become. It's, you know, everybody farms more and more acres, and less people are in rural America, and, and we're trying to, to reverse that, so. I'm Eli Smith Hemi, and I'm nine years old. In the fall, when we're combining, I like when my dad will let me drive the combine when he's like taking a truck up the hill and he needs me to just ride it a little bit up the hill and then I like helping that and then I also like to help drive tractors sometimes and drive his pickup a little bit. After I've seen my dad plant a little bit, I'd like to plant too. I kind of like to do what he does. <laughs>